Do I have everything I need? No, I don't. Of course I don't. You'd think by now, after doing this many episodes, I know how to fucking set up my kitchen before I start recording. Oh, there's an ant, look at this. Dude, I kinda like using peas. I wasn't gonna use peas, but I had peas in my fridge, so what the fuck, why not? I think I'm ready, do I wanna use an onion? No, I don't, fucking onion. Guys, welcome back to the College Cooking Show. As you can see, I've switched locations. I am back in New York. This is my home apartment. And as you can tell, it's a lot fucking smaller than the places I was in before. I was a little spoiled. I was at my parents' house, I was at my buddy's house. But I think I'm gonna make it work here. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be different. This is a new chapter of the College Cooking Show. So come along for the ride. On today's episode, we're gonna do a chicken thigh with a basic marinade, just soy sauce, vinegar, and honey. Then a few vegetables we're gonna throw in there. One pan, balanced meal, perfect dinner. Let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. What you're gonna need for this recipe? I have some green onions, I have some broccoli, I have some peas, but all you really need for this, just some broccoli, some green onions are fine, and then some chicken thighs. Oh, and some garlic, a little bit of garlic. To start off, I have some bone and skin on chicken thighs. You can go with skin off if you'd like, with bone out. There's always more flavor though if you cook something on the bone and with the skin on, so that's where I, I tend to lean. But there's no problem if you don't have that, if you can't find it in your store. So chicken goes in. All right, now apple cider vinegar. I pull this out of my cupboard and you look, you can see there's some shit floating around in there. People might see this in their vinegar and go, oh, it's bad, like I gotta toss it out. No, you don't, vinegar doesn't go bad. All this is, is that's the mother. So what, how you make vinegar is you take like a bacteria, I don't really know the whole science term, so if I'm confusing this with other words, forgive me. There's some bacteria, it's called a mother or a starter, so you put your mother in and then you put your wine in, white wine, red wine, it goes into the mother and then this flavor, this vinegar forms, that bacteria eats the whole science stuff that happens I don't know the exact details of. So long story short, if you see shit floating around your vinegar, it is totally fine to use. Vinegar does not go bad. Honestly, I think it will last forever. So about three tablespoons of vinegar, give or take. And then we're gonna match that with three tablespoons of soy sauce. So we have our acidity, bang, bang, bang. So with this one, the measurements really don't have to be anywhere near spot on. You're just playing a little balancing game. And then honey, you're gonna balance out all that acidity with some sweetness. And about, try to get three tablespoons, give or take of honey, and then I'm gonna go in, I have some chili flakes. Again, the base, all you need, really soy sauce, vinegar, salt and pepper, honey, you'll be fine. But I have some additives that I always like to add if I can, and then I found some hot sauce. I always like, you know me by now, I love a little kick in anything I make. So some hot sauce is gonna go in there. And that's just a very simple, basic marinade. We're gonna give that a little bit of time. So let me grab my tongs. Oh wait, do I not have tongs? I don't have, I don't have tongs. <laughs> I actually don't have tongs in this, in this apartment. As you, if you've seen my old videos, like I was always burning myself not using tongs. That's because here I actually don't own a pair and I fucking burned myself and just got used to using my hands. So we'll mix, give that a mix. I'd be using my hands, but I don't want to keep washing them. My hands get dry after all that time. So just a quick mix up and then we're going to set that to the side and we're going to get chopping on our garlic and then our, our vegetables. Let's do four cloves of garlic. Ooh, and I just thought of something. I'm going to add some ginger. I shop at Trader Joe's because it's convenient, but for some reason they never have fresh ginger, but they do have this like weird like frozen gingery cubes. So I'm not sure, like they taste fine. It tastes gingerish. Ooh, these are... They're a little freezer burn, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still gonna use them. They've been sitting in my apartment for a few months now. But uh, if you can get fresh ginger, use fresh ginger. If not, they sell this pureed form, but I'm just gonna slice those up. We're gonna add that now to our chicken. Let's take these uh, spring onions here. You can just cut the bottoms off. We're not gonna need those. Slice those at an angle. Get nice, large diagonal pieces, 45 degree angle, perfect. And then the broccoli, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So once we have those chopped, and if you have like a green pepper, or you have like a, an onion, feel free to use that too. This is kind of just like a leftover combination of whatever you have lying around in the kitchen. Get a nice big pan. We're gonna start on high heat. All of it goes in the pan. All right, that's jumping now. Let's go skin side down. All right, we're gonna let that go probably like three minutes because I really want that skin just to start to bubble and start to change color and get golden. And then we're gonna pour the rest of that marinade on top, give it a flip, cover up, and steam. I actually wish I had fucking tongs here. This is, this is when I need tongs. Hammer. Fuck me, how do I not I have fucking tongs? Let's use a fork, I guess. So right as soon as it looks golden, that's when you wanna give it a flip. Again, you don't want anything to burn here. So like that looks perfect. Then we're gonna turn the heat down to medium and pour in the rest of that rest of that marinade and a splash of water. Get about, I don't know, two tablespoons of water going. 
That's gonna quiet the pan down a little bit. And then we're gonna take all of our broccoli and just pop those all around. The steam is gonna cook that. Peas go in all around. Turn it down to about medium heat. Cover it, we're gonna let the steam do its thing. All that liquid's gonna combine and to form a nice steam and that's gonna finish cooking the chicken through. I think about 10, 13 minutes is probably all it's gonna need. <clears throat> all right, it's been 10 minutes, time for the big reveal. Fuck, that's hot, damn it. All right, take that one back. Ooh, look at that. I have my oven on broil, so what we're gonna do is get that chicken skin nice and crispy. Voila, look at that, we are good. Oh boy, look at that skin. We got a nice fucking crisp, look, it's just bubbling that. I'm gonna take it out and just serve it now, is that cool? I don't have fucking tongs. Whatever, we're using this shit. The fucking pasta scoop. I'll just go on a plate. God damn it, this is hard. Fuck. Ah, fuck. It's hot. God damn it! Spatula. Ugh, that's dirty. Yikes. Don't get it on my shirt. Spatula, that one's clean. Bang, perfect. Two. Get all those vegetables. Depending on how much liquid you use, I don't know, give or take the marinade directions, you might have leftovers, so just let it go, boil it down, reduce it, get a nice syrup, and then we're gonna hit it with a little bit. Some sesame seeds, bang, beautiful. I'm probably off camera right now, but maybe I'm not, this kitchen's so small, I'm sure you can see me. Hello, right here. Remember cilantro, just don't use the stems, the stems are bitter, so just get the little heads of the guys, and then go right over top, finish it off. Frollo, boom. Fresh cilantro. Oh, my light. What the fuck? What the fuck? Come on. Ah, fuck. This shit died. All right, we gotta wrap this video up. We're losing the light, we're losing everything. Is that plate burning? Fuck. All right, light's back. All right, time to dig in. We're in the process of... This is my only shirt. This is my only fucking shirt, and now I have grease on it. God damn it, but guess what? It's so moist and so juicy, I don't even care if it's jumping out, because that means I fucking put, cooked it perfectly. Yes, yes I did. Oh my God. Let's go in for a bite. Fuck it, enough talking, enough complaining about the shirt. You'll get new shirts, it's just a fucking shirt. Go in for a bite. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God, look, let's get there some more of that sauce too. Let's just pour some of that fucking sauce on top. Fuck it. I love it. Oh, let's get some, let's try a veggie. Let's try a veggie. Guys, wow. Holy shit, that broccoli is amazing. Holy fucking shit. If you have your little kids, if they don't like broccoli, do this. They'll fucking like broccoli, I guarantee it. Guys, this has been a fun episode of the College Cooking Show. This is the first of many from this apartment. I'm still working out the kinks, so forgive me. We'll see how this all works when I edit it. But this was delicious, and this is so fucking easy to do. It's one pan, chicken, vegetables, a little bit of heat, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of sour. What's not to love? It's just set it, forget it, steam it, broil it if you want crispy skin. God, that's why it's so fucking hot in here. Broiler's still on, Jesus. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of the College Cooking Show. Back in the motherfucking city. Plenty more to come. I will see you on next episode of the College Cooking Show. I'm Chef Donnie. Peace out. Woo! God, that's good. Sometimes I'm just like, damn, kid, good shit. That's a wrap.